Oh fuck, right. I just said change. So first things first, we're gonna go to uh, change fighter, just to take a look at them. So what we're gonna do is, well, obviously we're starting off incredibly outrageously basic, right? Because you've had this game for like yeah. three, three days. Yeah. So, something like that. And when, it start, when you start off, you're gonna wanna do a character that's easier, or obviously easier, and very simple. The more things that someone can throw, the more tech that they have, the more shit that they have, the harder it is to deal, like to do anything good at all. So then that's when people start spamming, especially at low level, because they just don't know what else to do. So they just start throwing things and shooting things. So yeah. to start off, a lot of players, including myself, would suggest playing Lucina to get fundamentals. It sounds very cliche, I guess, just to say always play Lucina. But Lucina is very easy to start off with because she has a sword, she has a range, her recovery's not too bad. She doesn't have a ton of like crazy combos or anything like that, so you're gonna be trying to get a lot more stray hits. Uh, the grabs are very simple as well. Not a lot of insane mm -hmm. mechanics. So I guess, you know, we can start off with Lucina and if it feels like you just don't like it, then we can try somebody else. But let's just start with her just to uh, get started. Alrighty. Yeah, that's what I was playing today. Like I liked her. Alrighty, so we'll go Lucina. And we're technically not going to be fighting. I'm just going to show you some stuff or like show you th some things to think about or look at when you're playing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're literally starting from scratch. I figure it's the easiest way to do it rather than to uh, get into anything too intense and you'd be like, yo, what the hell does that even mean, All right? So yeah. first things first with this character, or actually not even with this character, I got to go way back. We're gonna be doing pretty much all of our tilts and aerials with the C-Stick, okay? The only aerial you're gonna do without a C-Stick is obviously gonna be Nair, and also your jab <clears throat> on the ground is gonna be just A, right? So, mm -hmm. when you're playing this character, what I like to do a lot is doing short hops. This is of course very, very preliminary, but I short hop with two buttons, right? So, you yeah. don't, so you don't accidentally do a full hop and jump extra high. And also, you see that purple flash, like that purple star? When I do that, that's called a fast fall. The first things first, so you have your Z button and your Y button as jump, right? Yeah. So if you do that, that's how you're gonna get your short hop, press down on the control stick, that's how you're gonna do your fast fall, okay? And yeah. once you get used to doing that, what I like to do is alternate between the Y button and the C stick to do a short hop and then do a fast fall or aerial when I want to, right? And since you're doing it at the top of your jump, you don't actually, like you have a lot more time than you really need to like move your thumb from the Y button to the C stick. So mm -hmm. you can actually alternate pretty easily when you're doing that. And when you're doing the C stick, I think we were talking about another day or yesterday, when you're doing a C stick attack, you can use the control stick to move yourself forwards and backwards in space so that you're spacing properly on someone, right? So mm -hmm. if you don't know what spacing properly versus bad spacing, uh, hold your shield for a second. So good spacing is like being right there. Hitting your shield, not necessarily hitting you, just <laughs> breaks the shield, yeah. bro. But not necessarily hitting you, <laughs> I'm just staying right outside of your range, right? So good spacing would be like right here. Looks like I'm, I'm going a little bit forward as I use the C-stick. But good spacing is like in this area. So if you do try and jump or challenge it, I can hit you like that, right? So mm -hmm. bad spacing, just to show you the difference, hold shield again, that's bad spacing. I landed right beside you, right? And the reason why yeah. it's bad spacing is because if you're facing the right way, you can get a grab. Uh, you could also, even if you're facing the wrong way, since Lucina has a pretty good uh, tilt, you might even get, be able to get an up smash out of shield depending on how safe or unsafe the aerial is that I used or my option in general. Or you can do a up B out of shield, which is when you hold your shield button and push up and B at the same time, right? And that is something that Lucina actually does to get uh, people off of her because it's uh, frame five out of shield. Frame five out of shield just means it takes five frames for the hitbox to come out, and then in which case you'll hit your opponent. Also, you can mm -hmm. reverse it as well. So if you're facing to the left, like I just was, you can do up B to the right, and you'll go to the right, like that. So if someone's behind you, you can still hit them, like that. All right? So that's, yeah. it's not, it's a good out of shield option. It's not the best by any means, because if someone, like let's say for example, runs up to you and then shields, like to try and bait you into doing that. So if I go up to you and do a shield, you do up B, go ahead. Now you're free falling right beside me. And that's clearly a bad thing, right? So in that case, yeah. I could up tilt you. I could do an up smash, F smash, grab, whatever, right? So yeah. right now, obviously we covered a couple of things, but the main things that we covered realistically are spacing. So what you want to do is space your aerials safely, 
So being right outside of someone's range. So if they move, they pretty much hit themselves, right? It's obviously uh, a lot. It's a lot easier to stage something like this when you're just standing there and doing nothing. Because of course you're gonna be moving around. You're gonna be spot dodging and jumping and throwing out your own attacks. So you're gonna have to learn how to space close to someone and safely at the same time, right? You want to try and pretend yeah. that your character is bigger than they actually are when it comes to using your sword. Imagine that your sword is also part of your hurt box. It isn't, but you should imagine it. So it's like, if I can hit them with my sword and not have the, not have my mm -hmm. actual body hit you, then that means that you're as close as you should be at all times, right? Because mm -hmm. if I'm like, like I said before, if I land right up on your shield and come right up beside you, and you just shield it or grab me because like, the thing about sword characters, a lot of them, they have landing leg on the ground, right? That's what makes them quote-unquote balanced. Like you can mm -hmm. actually grab them or punish them for doing a landing aerial, right? Some aerials have more than others, so it's not always super easy. But the main thing too, uh, also with Lucina, if we're going to start from the ground up completely, is uh, don't get into the habit of dashing a lot. A lot of new players like to do this kind of thing and then they think they're schmoovin' when they're really not. So instead of doing that, uh, Lucina and Marth have the fastest walk in the game, right? They can actually walk oh, fast, really? faster than anybody, yeah. So since the walk is so good, you can actually use that quite a bit. And the reason why you'd rather walk instead of dash is because if you dash, you can't shield, spot dodge, or roll until the first dash finishes. So for example, if you want to do that, you can't shield until that ends. So if you dash and hold shield, you have to finish the dash first, like that. Yeah, true. And the reason why that's bad is because if you do a dash and someone does a dash attack, for example, or a forward tilt or F smash or whatever, and you misjudge your spacing, uh, you're just pretty much leaving yourself wide open. You have the ability to jump out of it. Like you can you can dash and then jump immediately, but then you just jumped above someone, and if that gets red, they can just up tilt you, up smash you, up air you anti area you with something else, Nair, Fair, whatever. Also, um, I know I'm saying stuff like Nair, Fair, Up Air, whatever. Uh, if you don't know, mm -hmm. or do you know what all that stuff is already, or no? Yeah, neutral air, forward air. Okay, yeah, it's literally just the direction plus air, right? Back air, mm -hmm. forward air, right? Forward air, up air, down air, neutral air. Another thing for neutral air, too, I just like to think of it this way, too, is neutral air is also nothing air, right? It's like doing nothing yeah. with the control stick, right? So if you were to, like, let's say, if we were to fight, the main thing that you'd want to do, or your main quote-unquote mix-ups with Lucina in neutral, or in general, is going to be coming in with an aerial to try and mm -hmm. get your opponent to shield. And once you've conditioned shielding, and we'll get into conditioning a little bit more later, but you kind of have like a rock, paper, scissors uh, setup with Lucina, right? It's going to be, you're going to hit their shield, they're either going to not shield and you're going to hit them, or you're going to try and land in front of them and get a grab when they go into shield, right? That's mm -hmm. like incredibly basic, but that's what the main things are that you're going to want to do. Whether it's back air, or if it's a forward tilt, if it's an up tilt, a dash attack, whatever it might be, either they're going to shield it, or they're going to, or they're going to use a defensive option being shield, spot dodge, or roll, mainly. Or they're going to try and challenge it if they get caught off guard. Let's say they, they try and throw out an attack while you throw out an attack. And the thing that makes Lucina so easy or so good is the fact that she is she has a sword. It's disjointed. So if you're fighting a character that doesn't have disjoints, uh, your hitboxes will beat theirs. More often than not, unless they have better timing than you and they hit you um, before or after your hitbox starts and ends. Right? Which is not very easy to do in Lucina's case. Right, because you get right to the ground pretty much right away. So if I'm doing like fair, uh, fair, right in front of you, uh, you can hit me as my sword goes past the midpoint. It's like literally fractions of a second, but it is possible to do. And also right before startup happens as well. It's like a frame, I think it's frame eight or frame seven, which is insanely fast, but it is possible to do. So sometimes you'll get what's called a trade. So it's like you hit me at the same time as I hit you. So you hit my hurt box, but my disjointed attack still hit your hurt box, which would be your body, uh, right? And I know we haven't talked about any specials or anything like that, but even using specials, we can get into that later. If you want to just try yeah. just jumping around and stuff. And yeah, I'm just trying to think. Like as far as doing like, there's so many things to just know. It's insane thinking about this is like trying to teach someone how to write who's just never even seen letters before 
Well, I need you to teach me that after because I don't know that either. Oh, true. Okay, I got you. I'm secretly a English teacher. It's not even a big deal, bro. But yeah. Okay, yo, I, I have some questions. First yep, of all. go ahead. Okay, one, I can. I feel like I can hit the short hop like every time, but my index finger, kind of like the tip of that finger, is right on the Z button, and yeah. that means the the R button, I kind of have like my third finger on it, my middle finger. Is yeah. that what you do? Yeah, that's what yeah? I have as well. Yeah. I never use okay. one finger for both because it's like, why would you not use your uh, middle finger on your on the R button so that neither finger has to move out of the way, right? Yeah, it definitely feels weird, but like I can hit the short up like pretty much every time. Doing the yeah. And it's definitely something to get used to. Even going from like a Pro Controller or Joy-Cons to a GameCube controller can feel incredibly weird. Like when I was first playing with a Pro Controller, it felt normal. And then I played a GameCube controller and it felt super tiny. It's like, what the hell is this? You know? Yeah. But I'm used to it now. Okay. It's been a super long time, so. What were you going to say? My second question is, when I'm doing like a short hop, am I always trying to fast fall? Like pretty much, every like is there any reason you want fast fall? Um... Not necessarily. The only reason you'd want to not fast fall is to mix up your timing. But the, the timing would be like, let's say, for example, if I wanted to pressure someone that was on a platform, for example, right? If you're on a platform, if you're just floating in the air beside them, it can get them to panic or feel like they can jump away from you before you do something. So that's the only real time. So you go like, let's say if you're on a platform above me right now, I might do yeah. like uh, run in and like do a short hop rar and then land with a, like an up air like that, right? Yeah. So it's, it gives you, it gives me more time in the air to react to something that you might do to get out of that situation, right? It's very, <laughs> very subtle, but that's like one, one reason to, but more often than not, you do want to be fast falling. If you start to play more complex characters that have combos, like for example, Sheik or Falco, you have to fast fall in between their attacks to actually make their combos true. So getting into the habit of fast falling is always a good thing. And especially if you learn how to do it early, you can also learn how to not do it. It's much harder to learn how to do it if you've never actually done it ever compared to stopping yeah. yourself from doing it if you do it all the time, if that made sense. Yeah, no, I get it. My other question was, you were talking about how like, if you use the C stick for like maybe like a forward air, yeah. you can use the other stick to like move forward. Yeah. How does that work? Because, okay, so basically I, I short hop up and then like I'll hit the C button to do a forward air and then I hit down on the analog stick. So how do I like move forward for example? Like where does that go in that whole sequence, if that makes sense? So the way I like to do it, and this is not the only way to do it, it really depends on your, um, depends on what you're doing with your particular jumps. But you can start with like an instant jump or instant dash jump, so like that. So I'm dashing, and as soon as I start my dash, I jump, right? And that's gonna move me forward. Like that? So, yeah, so like what I just did right there. So you can do that, dash forward, throw out your aerial, and then fast fall like that. Oh, there it is, so was that it there? Yeah, do it again. Yeah, that was a nair, but yes. You had the idea for the instant dash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, I don't know, like when you really break it down, it's, it feels complex, but once you get used to it, you'll do it all the time without even trying. Like for example, yeah, I'm doing it right there. Like I just do it naturally just all the time. Like, like when I first got the game, uh, short hopping felt really weird. Like that's already feeling like more natural, but I don't hit it every time. And the thing so is that too, would be the forward air, right? Yeah. I was going to say the thing is too, the reason why I like to use uh, two buttons for jumping is because especially if you're playing online the consistency is pretty trash so it's like you could do really good short hops offline then you go online and it's just horrible so yeah and how is our is, latency right now it doesn't feel that bad no it feels pretty good i'd say honestly yeah. oh we can talk about like i said on the ground if you're going to be doing like a lot of walking around and stuff the main thing you're going to be doing mm -hmm. on the ground with walking of course you're going to do dashing as well but using a lot of walking is good um you're yeah. doing a lot of tilts, all right? So a tilt just being a forward tilt, up tilt, uh, down tilting as well. In a, in a neutral sense, you probably don't want to use a ton of down tilt, just in neutral. You can use it, but like at a lower level, it's not going to be the best thing for you because a lot of other players are going to be jumping a lot because they just do. Like this is the game, everybody spams short hop aerials in this game, doesn't matter what character you are except for like Little Mac. Yeah. Everybody else is jumping and throwing something. They're pushing buttons all the time. Right, so because of that, down tilt is fine, but you'd much rather use it at the ledge for poking, 
also pressuring someone off the ledge or if they're in the corner, like if they're over here holding shield, and like trying to not get ledge trapped or killed. If you do down yeah. tilt, you can poke them, uh, poke their shield, and then you can get a shield stab, which is like when their their body's being uh, exposed through the shield like that. So if you did a down tilt, it'll hit me in the legs. Uh, and then, yeah, like that's that. That's clever, yeah. Right? So that will be one of the better times to use it. It's a little bit further down the road, especially for um, just development in general. But for the most part, you're gonna be running around, dashing around, going for forward tilts, yeah. up tilts, that's fine. And the thing is too, it really depends on your level of play in general, but like, it's crazy. Cause if you're at low level play, you can get away with a lot of smash attacks. Cause the people that you're fighting against won't be able to react or understand why you would do it, right? But yeah. once you reach like mid level play or even mid high level play, smash attacks become a lot more rare because if you do them, they're considered unsafe because they have end leg, right? It feels like when you're just playing casually or at a low level, you could just do any smash attack you want and people are not going to punish you. And more often than not, you probably won't actually get punished. You can just do it for free and nothing happens, right? So just to touch on that, two things. One, if you're on the edge and you're doing like your down tilt, mm -hmm. are you using your C stick here? Or are you going to actually do like down tilt with the analog stick? I would always use a C stick. And the reason being, I, I would always use the C stick for that. Okay. And the reason for that is because I also like to use my walking. The way I like to walk is use, pushing up on the control stick, which I should have mentioned earlier. So up. Yes. If you hold up on the control stick, you can walk left and right much easier without accidentally dashing. Right. Oh my God. I didn't know that. <laughs> I know. Right. And the thing is too, is you can kind of treat it like a gas pedal where up is zero on a gas pedal. And the more forward you hold, the faster you go. And you can also slowly go back to the up position and slow down like that. Right. Yeah, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. So that is something that makes your micro spacing uh, a lot better, a lot more precise. Because if you try and watch this by pressing lightly left and right, you can accidentally dash even without pushing the control stick all the way to the right or left. Like, mm -hmm. for example, these dashes right here, I'm just pressing left and right, but I'm not actually hitting the gate of the control stick. Yeah. And that's bad. Because like I said before, when we we're talking about dashing, is if you accidentally do that, you can't shield or do anything uh, until you've, or anything defensive on the ground until you've done your initial dash. Like you can do a dash attack out of it, like immediately like that, but you're not gonna be wanting to do something like this very often, especially since Martin Lucina's dash attack is one of their worst moves. It can have it, it has its time and place, but more often than not, you don't want to do it. And as you can see, it's very laggy. Like there's so much lag <laughs> before you can shield, right? So if so you're doing, when, go ahead. Yeah. I was just gonna say, whenever you're using tilts, you are using like the C-stick every time. Yes, I pretty much use a C-stick for literally everything. The only time I don't use it is for jabs and nair, which is like two mm -hmm. things. So if I'm doing jab or if I'm doing uh, nair, like that, all right? Another thing I was gonna mention, so when I was playing my friend, even though like he doesn't have that much time played in the game, like even at his skill level, it was so hard for me to land like a smash attack on him. Like I could never land them. And the thing is, the reason why that was probably happening or why you couldn't land it is because uh, for him, it was very telegraphed when you would try and do it versus for you, you didn't see, you didn't see that there actually wasn't an opening, for example. Yeah. Right. Because he's like, okay, you always dash back once and then do an F smash. I can just run up and shield or wait for your F smash and then do a dash attack or forward tilt of my own and then hit you every single time. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like the difference between, like, let's say, for example, if I'm just standing right here in front of you, so go into shield for a second. Yeah. So if I'm like right here and you're in shield, the chances of you reacting to me grabbing you is zero. Like, you're not going to be able to react and get out of the way of that. Right? Yeah. But for example, go back, go back into shield. If I'm like, all right, yeah, also way over there. If I'm like way over here and I do something like super meany like that. There's no chance yeah. on earth that should have worked, right? Because I'm like way That's up true. in the air. I've wasted my double jump. I'm coming in from a horrible angle. I'm going to land right in front of you on shield and then go for a grab. Yeah. Whether or not I go for a grab or not. Actually, you know, I'll give you an even worse example or better worse example. So if you're over there in shield and I just do this, like you should be able to punish that all day, right? It can be grabs, it can yeah. be tilts, up B, whatever, because it's very telegraphed. Like you have a lot of time to react to what I'm doing from this far away. So the micro interactions that you want to have with someone to then bait and punish them is it's going to happen at like a burst option position or distance, which is like from here pretty much here, maybe mm -hmm. to about like right here, right? 
Anything from about this distance or further, depending on how fast or slow your character is, most people are going to be able to react to and uh, deal with it in some way. So from this far away, even that, like you didn't even react, I just straight up missed. But if I had to run that far, you should be able to react to whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Whether or not you choose the right thing to react with, it's not like there's nothing you could do, right? And the thing is, the higher yeah. the level of play, the shorter this gap becomes, right? Because mm -hmm. you have to get closer and closer because better players, let's say if I'm playing against you and you're brand new, I might do something that's like from this far away and you wouldn't be able to react to it just because you're not uh, experienced. But if I'm playing against like a pro player, I might have to stand here or even here to try and get something that yeah. they can't react to. Right? That's kind of an extreme example. It might not be that close. Maybe like this close because no, they're yeah, going to be moving and stuff yeah. too. But yeah, the reaction time, their predictability or how well they can predict what I'm going to do is much higher. So it's a lot harder to get in on, an, on a more experienced player.